This is Emily. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Does her heart still belong to her ex? Was she in a lesbian relationship for three years? Or has she done hard time? We'll open up this bag and many, many more coming up on Baggage. <laughs> Right now, let's meet our charming dater. She's a waitress from Libertyville, Illinois. Please welcome Emily. Okay, now what are you looking for in a guy? Well, I like a guy that's tall, dark, and handsome, yes. and that loves to dance. All right. <laughs> All right, let's bring him out. He's an independent contractor from Los Angeles. Meet Brian. If you pick me, you will get a drama-free, straight-up guy. <laughs> up next, he's a real estate broker from the Bronx. Say hello to Ray. I am a romantic, I'm not afraid to write a love letter. Oh. <laughs> Finally, he's a hockey player from Santa Monica. Give it up for Chris. Hi, Emily. My favorite thing to do is to make people laugh. And uh, of course, because I'm a hockey player, I'm also the most physically gifted. These guys brought with them a small, medium, and large bag, each hiding a personal secret. Gentlemen, it is time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. Let's start with Brian. I refuse to fly. It's just I've had three really bad flying experiences. Ray, please open your baggage. I only spend $10 on a date. Uh, obviously, not every date leads to a second date, so I like to keep it simple. Okay. So actually, a date at the beach, frisbee, cup of waters, keeps it cheap, <laughs> but we'd have a great time. Chris. My dog <laughs> is my number one priority. I think the best way that uh, someone or something can defend themselves is to just do it themselves. So I brought him with me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Smaller dogs are kind of for, you know, more feminine guys, and I like a more masculine guy. Oh. This is the deal breaker round. Now, here in front of me are the men's medium-sized bags. Once she decides which of these is her deal breaker, the man who claims that bag will be going home. Bag number one. I don't let my girlfriends meet my parents. That's terrible. Bag number two. <laughs> I left a six-figure job to start a band. And bag number three. I talk to my mom at least five times a day. Which of these is a deal breaker? Because whoever that baggage belonged to, as you know, goes home. My deal breaker is I talk to my mom at least five times a day. Oh, no. My mom's a great person. I'm sure you would have enjoyed her. But then again, maybe she wouldn't have enjoyed you. Who knows? Oh. So there you go. Brian left the six-figure job to start a band, and Chris doesn't let his girlfriends meet his parents. OK, well, welcome to the hot seat, where we start <laughs> to feel the heat. So uh, let's start off right now with uh, Brian here. He left a six-figure job to start his band. I'm kind of surprised that um, Someone would quit a job with that kind of income. I was a loan officer. I was making great money. It was great, but the thing, it wasn't my passion. Sometimes, it's, you know, you got to do crazy things to chase after your dreams and make them happen. Chris, for some reason, doesn't want you to, or any of the girls that he's dated, meet his parents. I can't imagine anyone not wanting to have me meet their parents. Like, I'm a pretty sweet girl. Gentlemen, it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm speechless. <laughs> so, uh, so at least you know what I'm doing, right? Or who you're doing. <laughs> let's go here to Chris. OK, Chris, let's do that. It is time to reveal your baggage. Oh. 
My ex's <laughs> eyes are tattooed on my back. Can we see this? You know, are you still attached to her? Or? No, you know, and, and everybody asked me if I was going to get it undone or something like that. And no, it was a pivotal point in my life. It made some significant changes for the better, and it's kind of my scarlet letter. Brian, I just came out with the worst of me, and I figured if you can overcome this, then we've got a shot. You know, if we have chemistry, I think we do. You know, I don't know. I think there's a lot of potential. Chris, uh, this is your chance at a final plea. You know, the only thing that tattoo is, is a reminder of who I was and who I don't want to be. They are two great guys, but I'm, con I'm still concerned with the whole family thing. And definitely the tattoo on the back is a little creepy. I'm sorry, but mm, Chris, you have too much baggage for me. Oh. <laughs> I too am sorry, Chris, but it's time to pack up and go. You know, enjoy being in his next video. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations, Brian and Emily. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Congratulations. OK, our data Emily has just chosen Brian. But now, of course, the tables have turned. And it's his decision. What's the secret in Emily's big red bag? <laughs> Does her heart still belong to her ex? <laughs> Was she in a lesbian relationship for three years? <laughs> or has she done hard time? <laughs> what is the biggest baggage for you? Ooh, yeah. Um, I really think it's like if her heart's still caught up with her ex, you know? That'd be tough. Yeah, just because if you're starting a new relationship and they're still caught up in the past, that makes it tough. Please reveal <laughs> your baggage. Whoa. He still lives back in Chicago and refuses to move out here. Yeah. And I've been dating and everything. It's just, it's hard to get over him when you haven't found someone that can help you through that. I did overlook the porn star. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Emily, I can accept your baggage. Oh, congratulations! guys, a romantic dinner for two. This might be the start of something special. Remember, love blossoms when we share each other's baggage.